Okay, so the 36 hour ride a thon is getting ready to start. In about 45 minutes, I'll be going live for the kickoff chat, uh, which is basically just gonna be me talking at 11 o'clock at night, wondering why I'm so tired. No idea why. Um, and so I guess I decided that maybe vlogging this weekend is gonna be a good idea. I don't know how that's gonna go, but uh, we're gonna give it a shot and see what happens, so I will see you guys in a little bit. Look at that. See it? Do you see it? I might possibly be doing a vlog. Hello people over there. How's everybody doing? People are asking questions. Let's answer some questions. Uh, I am not doing Millwordy because I am not crazy. FYI. Alright y'all, the kickoff chat is done. I am officially covered in cat hair because Merlin wanted to be the star of the show. And now I am hanging out over here on Lainey's channel waiting for the write a thon to start. Hey y'all, it is morning time now and I have continued to fail at vlogging because I didn't tell you that I was leaving last night in the middle of a sprint. And also, I've already been up for approximately three hours or so. And I was already live on Natalie Locke's channel, so uh, that was a surprise. I wasn't planning on doing that because I did not schedule myself any live streams for the live, for the, for the write-a-thon, so that's weird. Um, but right now, uh, Camille is getting ready to sign off for her live stream and then we will be going to Marissa Mohi's in about a half hour. So I am going to have some lunch slash breakfast and later we are going to work on the Kanban board because I have not updated it yet this month. So I need to update my Kanban board. I need to update um, my Twitter feed. Twitter feed? I don't even use Twitter anymore. I need to update my Instagram stories and uh... I don't know what else, but that's where I'm at, so, yeah. Y'all have never been here before. You're currently in my kitchen. And, uh, it's messy. It's lived in. This is how we live our lives. Uh, I'm gonna make some lunch. I think I'm gonna make a pizza sandwich, because I can. And it sounds delicious. And, uh, bring you along for the ride, so. FYI, if you don't know, I am currently on Weight Watchers and I have a Weight Watchers Instagram um, that I will link in the description box below in case you're interested, in case you're wanting any information. And I actually made this marinara sauce. It's like a zero point marinara sauce, you know, it's actually pretty good. I do need to use an immersion blender next time though because that is like one thing is that I didn't immersion blend it and so all of the like onions and tomatoes and stuff are still pretty chunky. Um, so those need a little bit of help but it's not too bad. Next time though. I've used it for spaghetti already. It was really good with spaghetti. I've been using it on these sandwiches um, and it's been really good for that as well. So. I'm putting like a lot of turkey pepperoni on here. That sound is the bird because anytime you cook, the bird thinks that she should get something. And the dogs do too, so I have to dole out turkey pepperonis to everybody, BRB. I am like the worst, I don't actually measure stuff. I kind of just eyeball and guess and it's not part of what you're supposed to do with Weight Watchers, but you know, here we are. I also don't typically use my weekly points and I feel like that is part of the reason why I don't necessarily care if my measurements are quite exact uh, because I have so many points left over. Like I have 42 weekly points, I think. So 
you know, if I'm off on my points a little bit during the week, it doesn't really matter. And I'm sure you all have been hearing about it a million times if you follow any kind of like mom blogger or food blogger or anybody else. Um, I am now addicted to Thrive Market. I've been buying a lot of my products from there as far as like, um, like my monk fruit sweeteners and different avocado oils, and things like that. Because, I don't know if you know this or not, but I live in the middle of Ohio, in the middle of nowhere, and it's hard to buy products like that around here. So, sandwich happening, cleanup also happening. You know it works great with cutting uh, anything at all? Using a knife that's sharper than a butter knife. But I'm committed now. Ha ha. So I'm just gonna have um, a little pizza sandwich and some wrinkles and I've got some water in my office. So that's gonna be my brunch for today. Rider fuel. Lunch has been had. I did some sprints with Marissa. And now, we're doing sprints with Cache. And our pupper dog friend is here. He wants to know what we're doing. Right, Bubby? What are we doing? What are you doing? Oh. oh, and there's another pupper dog. All right, go play. They're definitely hyper. Uh, so... I'm gonna let them outside and then get back to the sprint. Ugh. Okay, so Cachet's stream is over. So I'm done doing that. But now I need to work on this thing during this break. I'm trying to be productive even during my breaks because I'm not productive during the breaks on the sprints because I'm chatting. So I have a half hour. Let's work on this. Okay, she has now been updated. I haven't worked, it's, you know, the 10th and I haven't updated anything yet this month, so. Not good. I also need to film a couple videos, so I guess I'm gonna go do that now, because I have some time still. So. Filming, why not? Well, we're back at the kitchen. I finished reading K.M. Whalen's structuring your novel how to structure your novel whatever it was that i was reading uh didn't love it probably because it took me two months to read it because it was dry as fuck um yeah so i'm done with that so that's one thing done and uh, i filmed a couple videos and um i finished reading that during um dana Gollin's sprints and She's going on break right now before the next friends start on Holly's channel, so I am gonna make some dinner. Hence the kitchen. So, dinner time. Let's do it.
Guys, I don't want to scare anybody, but if you can't tell from that echo, we are currently in my bathroom. Why are we in my bathroom, you ask, in a write-a-thon vlog? The answer is because Holly Davis's live stream just ended and I've got 30 minutes until Michelle Schusterman's stream starts. So I am gonna dye my hair. Right now I'm using the overtone purple for blue hair. Purple for blue hair? Purple for brown hair? That makes more sense. Um, I can't remember if last time I used this, if I used this or if I used just like the extreme purple. Um, don't remember but this is what we have so I'm going to do that and y'all can watch me dye this and then we'll come back after Michelle's live stream and wash it out yeah y'all currently living that purple scalp life um so my hair has been dyed and it is wet so braids it is we are on charlie's stream right now doing some sprints which means i need to be doing some sprints so i'm gonna get to that and uh i'm actually starting on i mean i guess i could like update you on what i'm actually doing because have I talked about it at all today? I don't know. Uh, I finally finished that book. I think we did discuss that I hate that book and I finished it. And so now I am actually going through in Scrivener and working on the outline. So I am now officially outlining at 11 p.m. with 12 hours left of the write-a-thon. <sighs> Guys, I'm falling apart. So wish me luck. It is almost two in the morning. Ugh, I'm too old for this. Uh, <laughs> we just finished sprints on Julie's channel and we're getting ready to do sprints on Stieg's channel and I'm actually going to crash Stieg's party because uh, I, I want to in a can. I want to hang out with Stieg and Samantha so I'm gonna do that and um, and my hair is purple and I'm living my best uh, purple scalp life and uh, that's pretty normal on the first day of purple so it's fine uh, yeah I'm, I'm get, making progress in the outline feeling pretty good about it um, my goal was to have the entire outline done by the time we get to NaNoWriMo so I can just write uh, during nano and I think that that may actually happen um, So yeah feeling pretty good so far. Well It's morning uh, I went to bed around Four 
I think it was four, yeah. And it is now 10. And Lizelle is opening up her sprints. They're the last ones for the ride a thon. Um, so I look like a hot mess because I just woke up. And we're gonna do some sprints with Lizelle. Yeah, one of those things. <laughs> And book to learn to write faster, um, which Kate also did a whole uh, review video on and experimental video. Yeah, that's a, I appreciated the hype though because I'd heard about it before and was like, that sounds ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> You'll be like, no, really. And you know what, y'all? I still am doing my little bullet point for the scene and then I'll do the dictation. Okay, well, the write a thon is over. And we're getting ready to do the closing chat. So hopefully you all had a fun time. And uh, we're going to close this thing out and, you know, see how everybody felt about the day. The weekend. It was more than one day. Yeah. That. So I just tried to move my chair and was like, I can't move. I don't know why. Oh, because somebody's laying on the floor. <clears throat> somebody's laying on the floor by my chair and I can't go anywhere. Someone has me trapped. He doesn't want me to leave. No. What are you doing, Bubby? Flash Gordon. Na 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 na. Yeah. Well, if this weekend hasn't just been a tour of all of the rooms in my house that you've never been in, it is time to get ready for the Halloween party. And I figured I would bring you with me into my bedroom where I have all of my makeup and random bottles of grape juice. <laughs> I'm really not even sure why that's here, but it is. Um, I didn't really pre-plan this whole Jim and the Holograms thing. I was like, I probably have pink eyeshadow. Uh, if you don't know this about me, and you probably don't because it's not part of my life that I have shared, I have a lot of makeup. Like, a lot. Like, I mean, I have one of these things that's got a lot of makeup in it. Um, I really love Medusa. Their makeup is great. It's vegan, cruelty free. Love it. Um, more eyeliners and stuff that any one girl needs. More lipsticks than anyone will ever use. And can we just talk about palettes for a minute? I mean, I've got Megra. I've got some Celestial Thunder from Dominique Cosmetics. I've got one, two Disney palettes from ColourPop. I've got this Supernova palette from BH Cosmetics. I've also got these ridiculous 88 color palettes from BH Cosmetics. I have two of those. One is matte, one is cool matte. I also have this giant Morphe palette that is, uh, can you tell how often I use my makeup? Um, this is the Morphe Such a Gem palette. And uh, I think this is where we're going to be living today because that's definitely got plenty of pink in it. I don't know, this floating lantern looks amazing. I don't know, we're just gonna go for it.
party's about to die, so I guess you guys will have to hold on to see the final look. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the wrap party for the Worldwide Ride-A-Thon costume party, if you can't tell from this. Is it just my everyday look? What do you mean? Oh, well, I mean, it's a costume party for me. For you, obviously, you wear just woke up. every day. Yeah. I just yeah. woke up. I had no idea. Am I on stream? Wow. She, she, told me. Shit. she walked over to her dad and, like, opened his eyelid and was, like, staring at him while he was drinking. <laughs> No, thank you. Oh, no. I'm, I'm out. I'm good. I just like, oh, Dad, are you awake? <laughs> I am now. <laughs> well, if you can't tell, it is the next day. Uh, the write thon's over. And basically, I'm just here to wrap this thing up. I was way behind on time. And <laughs> I was almost late to the party, literally. And we had a three hour chat. There were only um, four other people who came into the chat, so they just all stayed the whole time. Um, well, for most of the whole time. And so we chatted about some things, talked a little bit about Twilight, uh, had a few, <laughs> few discussions, and it was, it was a really fun uh, live show. So if you missed it, I highly recommend going back and watching it. It was really funny. We talked about um, different writing things and um, scary movies and just, it was a fun time. It was, it was really fun. I really just wanted to take a minute and thank you guys for participating because I couldn't do it without you. It's such a fun weekend and I really enjoyed doing it. I'm so glad we extended it to 36 hours and got to do so much more with everybody and I hope that in the next round, which will be March 2021, um, that even more of you will join us. In the description box below, you will find, I don't know if I've told you this already because this has been going on forever, uh, <laughs> you will find the link for the Google form. If you haven't already filled that out, um, please do, and I will put you on the list um, to receive an email for co-host and host spots for the next round. We are also working on a discord server so that we'll have that for next time around as well and the instagram for the write thon is linked down below as well we're not really linked actually just it's down there it's literally just at worldwide write -a -thon. uh follow us on instagram so that you don't miss out on anything going on um i'm really I, i'm really um i really thank you guys so much it was such a fun time i got to see so many new people, got to meet a lot of new people, got to have a lot of new faces in the chats and in the comment sections and it really just was an amazing time and I'm, I'm super excited about it and um, I'm ready for the next one already. Those of you who did stay up for 36 hours, probably not ready for the next one. That is all I have for today. I post reading, writing, and book related videos on Mondays, Wednesdays, bonus videos on the weekends. If you don't want to miss anything I have going on in the future, Make sure you subscribe, and until then, I will see you guys next time. Bye!